Thomas Carlyle, who was a famous historian, he was a European, a non-Muslim. He writes a book, Heroes and Hero Worship. And he gives down the history of hero. And number one hero, a hero prophet, it wasn't Jesus, peace be upon him. It wasn't Moses, peace be upon him. It was not David, peace be upon him. It was not Solomon, peace be upon him. It was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. आपने देखा होगा आईएसआईएस जिस तरह से गर्दने काटता है जिस तरह से क्रूरता से लोगों को मारता है वो सब मोहम्मद की देन है मोहम्मद ने मुसलमानों को समझाया कि एक दुश्मन को इतनी क्रूरता से मारो कि बाकी सारा समाज दहल जाए सारा समाज डर जाए ये मोहम्मद का नियम था तो उसको मोहम्मद ने फॉलो किया द रोल मॉडल फॉर द पर्सन हु वॉज द मोस्ट अल्लाह सेंटर्ड इज द लास्ट एंड फाइनल मैसेजर प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद पीस बी अपन Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the best example of a person who is Allah-centered and a mercy only for the Muslims. He was the mercy for the whole of humankind. And Allah says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number twenty-one, verse number one hundred and seven: "Wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmat lil alamin." That we have sent thee not but as a mercy to the whole of humanity, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to all the worlds. The best example for a person who had the best purpose of life, the best example in humankind, for a person who converted the barbarians into human beings, for a person who changed the humankind. And when we read his history, you can speak for hours and days together. Leave aside what the Muslims have said about the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We can give hundreds of quotations of non-Muslims who have praised the Prophet. Just to give you a few examples, George Bernard Shaw. He said, when talking about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, "I have studied him. That is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in my opinion, far from being an anti-Christ, he should be called as." A savior for humanity, George Bernard Shaw. <laughs> Thomas Carlyle, who was a famous historian, he was a European, a non-Muslim. He writes a book, Heroes and Hero Worship, and he gives down the history of hero. And number one hero, a hero prophet, it wasn't Jesus, peace be upon him. It wasn't Moses, peace be upon him. It was not David, peace be upon him. It was not Solomon, peace be upon him. It was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Imagine Thomas Carlyle, a European, was a Christian. He places number one hero prophet as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have the example of La Martine. La Martine was a famous historian. He was a French who wrote the history of the Turks. And he writes, "If greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and astounding results, if these three are the criteria to judge the greatness of a person, there will be no one in modern history who would dare to compare himself with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him." If greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and astounding results are the three criteria for judging how great a person is, I dare any man in human history, modern history, who will come close to Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he continues, with all standards of humankind, there is no one who can compare himself. To Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Michael H. Hart, he's a famous historian, and he writes a book on the hundred most influential people in human history, right from Adam peace be upon him till present time. And number one he places is Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. 
the most influential person in history from Adam to present time, peace be upon him, is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he writes, my choice of putting Muhammad, peace be upon him, number one, will surely astonish many people. Would not go down the throat, would not be agreeable by many people. But the reason I've chosen Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as number one, because he was the only man in history who was successful in the religious field as well as secular field. <laughs> and if you read Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th edition, when talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he says that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the most successful religious personality of the world. Imagine, Encyclopedia Britannica. They are forced, they have no choice. If they want to be authentic, how much ever they try, they have to mention the truth. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81, وَقُلْ جَعَلْ حَقْ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ قَانَ زَوْكَ When truth is held in falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Qalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4, Verily, in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you have the most sublime and excellent character. Allah says in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, Indeed, in the messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you have a beautiful pattern of conduct. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was successful in all the fears of life. Not only religious, he was successful in political, in secular, in how to lead a life. He was so successful that every act of his could be emulated. What he wears, if you emulate, inshallah you get sawab. He commanded, he wore trousers above the ankle. If you wear trousers above the ankle, inshallah you'll get a reward. Unlike if you want to become a scientist, Long hair will not help you, like Isaac Newton. Shoes will not help you. Clothes will not help you. But if you want to become like the Prophet, everything the Prophet did, if you copy, it will benefit you. In this world, as well as Akhirah. He told you to sport a beard. If you sport a beard, inshallah, it will benefit you. Whatever the Prophet did, he was successful in all spheres of life. He's the best role model anyone can follow.